What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. I literally just left a pre-screener for Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, for all of you here in the States, it'll come out tomorrow. It got released in various places internationally already. Um, so this is going to be my early reaction, non-spoiler review from the film. And although there are a couple of things, there are a couple of nitpicks, um, when you've read and heard that this is the best movie of all time, unequivocally, the best superhero movie of all time, um, a lot of the hype is real. And uh, I'm so happy to report that even in this age where it feels like everything gets leaked and everything gets spoiled and we knew everything going in, um, you don't, you don't. And uh, the film was able to deliver on some levels that, you know, while earlier this year when I gave reviews, I said that this and that had the feel of Marvel and some nostalgic Marvel vibes. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, this is what I will say is that when a film has a job to do as far as wrapping up a trilogy like this for Spider-Man 3 and Tom Holland's narrative and his, his character arc, or another great example is Avengers Endgame, a film that had very similar hype, uh, was going to be regarded as the best superhero movie of all time. When a film has a job to do first and foremost, sometimes it's hard to split the difference between serving the film and the story and then getting what you need out of the film to serve the narrative in a greater whole. Um, basically what I'm saying is that sometimes movies can't just be what they are because either where they come in the trilogy or in a sequence for a character or because of the hype. And in this case, it's both. Uh, the hype was through the roof and the film had to deliver uh, on a level that could wrap up the trilogy and leave us in a place that going into Multiverse of Madness made sense for Doctor Strange's character and what was going on with the snap and the blip in the current sense of the MCU. Um, and then, of course, the hype. There was so much riding on different parts of this film. And the reason I bring that up and in the first couple of minutes of this review was I was worried that one or two of these things in concert or just basically the myriad of all of them um, was going to make this movie fail especially when you add it on top of the hype um, and the genius marketing campaign by Sony this year that in retrospect was absolutely orchestrated. Um, the film was able to do it. So despite all of the reasons that this could have failed, that it could have uh, left in a weird spot or not delivered on the pieces that it needed to, it did. And it's an awesome film intrinsically regardless of those things. And, uh, you know, when you hear people rank their top 10, their top 5, their top 20, or just rank all of the Marvel movies, um, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame do get included in the top 10 and top 5, but very generally they're like the honorary mention, right, where we have, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, uh, Winter Soldier, even Thor Ragnarok, some of these other things are usually put in people's one spot. I also see Avengers 1 go up there, uh, Iron Man 1. Um, this is one of the best movies that Sony and Marvel have ever put out. This is one of the, if not the best superhero film that I've ever seen. And it is absolutely everything you want out of a movie. I make the joke at the channel sometimes that, you know, if the hype's got you down or feeling some sort of way, that might be on you more than the film because at the end of the day, it's just a movie. It can only do so much. It can't do your laundry for you. It can't solve your problems, you know, make you a better person. It's just a film that's meant for entertainment. Um, What can a film do though? A film can touch you emotionally. Um, a film can bring you the entire gambit of uh, pun totally intended. And I use the, the word wrong, it's actually gamut. So here, let's be educated together. You don't run the gambit of things, you run the gamut of things. Um, no words. And my theater absolutely lost it. Um, at a lot of key moments in the film. And dude, shout out to Soups and that pre-screener and everyone who was there tonight. I met a lot of really talented uh, content creators. Um, uh, everyone was so hyped. It was a theater full of 500 people who were there for it. And so, you know, tomorrow, so I'm gonna fly back. I actually am doing this reaction. I'm gonna be up for like 36 hours straight. I'm flying back East Coast so that I can see Spider-Man tonight um, uh, with, with my best friends. Um, this film is insane. 
It's absolutely insane. And, uh, you know, if you follow channels like mine, there is a chance that you've seen a lot of the leaks and the spoilers. You've kept up with our discussion. Um, you're not prepared. It, there's so much in store. Um, so what I will say, because we're five minutes in, I did want to get through just a couple of my nitpicks. Um, other than the theater being so loud, cheering that I literally missed a lot of dialogue. Um, okay, couple couple of the nitpicks. Uh, um, I, I would say that is quite common the case now especially now for marvel and sony especially marvel when they try to do these films in these tv shows they feel like they've got to mention so much stuff stuff backed in pacing pacing we've seen it in the disney plus shows a lot pacing's odd through the first act um but i won't say any more about it because i think that's really in the review and it's a nitpick again um and my other nitpick about this film, again, these are just like little things, is that there were uh, certain times where I needed more dialogue out of characters, and I feel like they didn't get a chance to have that because the film was already pressing, you know, two and a half, three hours long, um, and they had to move through some scenes. And so what kind of complaint is that, that I just wanted more? That's my nitpick, is that I wish they had spent more. Um, but there were a couple of scenes, though. I'm not being unfair. There were a couple of scenes, though, that felt like maybe some of the discourse could have either been a little more pointed or could have um, developed. But again, these are nitpicks. Everything is awesome about this film. Everything. Um, it's such a way to celebrate the end of the year, such a way to celebrate... Uh, Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Um, so I will say this, uh, in in an honest attempt not to hit any of the spoilers or anything, I'm going to cut this short uh, because the more I talk now, we move from just reaction and review. I can't talk about any of the details. I don't want to talk about any of the details. Um, I just wanted to jump out here. I'm live in my hotel room after the pre-screener, jump on here and talk to you guys about it. I'm so excited uh, for you guys to see this film. Of course, we will be covering it over the next three or four days, and the spoiler warning goes out tomorrow. You know, I'll be covering the post credit scene, then we'll be breaking down uh, the details, um, asking a lot of uh, what-if questions, pun totally intended. Um, but guys, have a great time. If you weren't planning on seeing it on opening weekend, I urge you to do so, so you can get the theater experience. And if you have some friends in Marvel, you know, that you watch these movies with, this is the one to see them with. 100% worth it. Um, you guys know what it is. My name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Uh, we're going to run PlayStation giveaways all the way up to a million subscribers. Uh, super easy to be entered to win. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. The more videos you comment on, better chance you have of winning. That's it. It's random. Just comment on videos. Chance to win. Uh, best way to keep up with the notification bell. No, let me, let me rephrase that. The best way to keep up with the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, Hit the like button, right? My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on this platform here, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Apple, iTunes music, wherever you listen to original music under the name all fires. I actually just put a new track out. I sincerely appreciate you checking that out. But in the meantime, thanks for checking this channel out. Uh, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown me. Um, and I am really looking forward to 2022 with you guys. But next week, Hawkeye's finale. Um, and there will be a lot of Spider-Man videos to come in the next month, I'm sure. Uh, I love you guys very much. Stay spoiler free. If that means you got to stay off social media, do it. Um, and I look forward to uh, reading your guys' comments and you guys seeing the film. All right. I love you guys. Peace. Love. Spider-Man.